hey what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to bypass the tpm and the secure boot checks to install windows 11 so let's get into the video right after the intro all right so the first method is by copying a dll file from the windows 10 image to the windows 11 image so first up i have my windows 11 image over here then I have the Windows 10 image over here. I extracted them. Okay, so first you need to go to the sources folder in the Windows 10 ISO and then you need to search for this DLL called appraisers.dll or something and copy that and go to your Windows 11 extracted ISO image and then open the sources folder in that and then paste it over here. Select replace the file in the destination. And now once again try to install Windows 11 and see if the error will come or not. Alright so the next method is by copying a lot of files. So go to your Windows 10 extracted image, open the sources folder and then select everything except the install.vim or the ESD or the SWM and then right click and choose copy and then go to your Windows 11 extracted ISO image, go to the sources folder and then just paste everything there and then click replace the files in the destination this method works 99 percent of the time if it still doesn't work i have another method for you all right so the next method is by tinkering with the registry so first up press shift plus f10 then type in regited.exe and press enter next go to hkey local machine system setup Right click on the setup folder, go to new, go to key and then name the key as lab config. L should be capital and C should be capital. Next right click, go to new and select the 32 bit value and name it as bypass tpm check. I will leave all the names in the description. You need to copy them exactly how it is and then paste them. Next set the value to 1. Then again right click, create a new d 32 bit value and name it as bypass ram check and set the value to 1 then create another d 32 bit value name it as bypass secure boot check and then set the value to 1 now close the registry type in exit in the command prompt and select enter and then press the left arrow at the top left corner and again choose which version you want and select next and this method did not work for me the second method worked perfectly fine so i suggest you to try the second method and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video